excited about this. I have not had toast in so long because one of the only things Justin and I haven't bought yet is a toaster. And that's because if it's going to be seen every single day when I walk into my kitchen, whether I'm using it or not, I want to like it, like the look of it. And every time I go to a store, I... Yeah, you little talkative. Hi! Um, every time I go to a store, we look at the toasters. And I look through all of them on the shelf and I'm like, okay, I like that one. And we go and look down and they never have the one I pick out. And I pick out different ones. But they never have the one I pick out. And then we just give up until next time. But it's been like a, over a year of that. Like almost a year and a half of that. And I just want a toast really bad because we always want toast. And we want to toast things, but we just can't. So I'm happy my parents have a toaster. Lincoln's happy too. <gasps> Are you eating lunch? Yeah. Maybe. Ah. Uh, good job. Oh, I forgot to put a bib on you. I'm realizing that now. So today, Justin had an appointment to go see his doctor. And. Um, this was to go over the test results of a test he did a couple of weeks ago and they literally Pushed off his appointment for a couple of weeks to tell him. Oh, we didn't find anything on that test and That infuriates me to my very core because the amount of like, Yeah, you're pretty upset too. Like The amount of malpractice going on where it's like we've been in and out of doctor's offices for six months now and they have like pushed off his appointments so much and spaced them out so much that we still don't even know what's wrong. It's just they see him for one test, make him wait a month, go over the results, which they say are inconclusive, wait another month, run a test, wait another month, say it didn't work. And this time around they said, oh, we're going to send you up to Raleigh, which is two hours away, um, and they're going to do an MRI up there. And I was like, wait, what? Like, so even though there's like nine MRI machines closer, you're gonna make us go up to Raleigh to do it. And they said, Raleigh will call us within the next probably two weeks, which means probably like three weeks. And then they'll decide if they have room for us, but it could be a couple of months before he gets an MRI. And it just makes me so angry. Cause it's, Ooh, I, mm, I'm like fuming right now. It just is so stupid. Like, Justin is in no way assertive or aggressive, but I'm extremely assertive and oh, I so cannot wait to be there because like if the doctor's like, oh, um, we'll get you back here in like two months to go over those test results. Justin's like, okay, I'll see you in two months. But like, I would be, I like, oh, I'm so angry. But like you can't do that. Normal hospitals don't do that. And so I don't know how they get away with that on base. And so we, I either need to go there and start like flipping out on people or Justin needs to be seen by someone off base. But that's another like couple of weeks of paperwork and waiting for it to get approved. And it's just so ridiculous and he's just getting worse. And we still don't even know what's wrong. That's the horrible part is it's been six months of doctors and still no one can tell us what the problem is. Every test is inconclusive or abnormal. Everyone needs to like send off their paperwork to someone else, which apparently takes a month to review and then another month to get us in to tell us what their review was, even though it'd be a phone call. Like his appointment was 30 minutes and they essentially just said, we didn't find anything. We're gonna send you up to Raleigh now. Okay, you can go. That could have been a phone call that happened weeks ago. Like the day after he got his test, it could have been like, Sorry, we didn't find anything. Cause it's not like it was blood work where they had to wait for a lab to go around and figure stuff out. It was an ultrasound. So they were seeing it right there and they could have told them right then that it was inconclusive. Like I understand that labs take longer and things with blood work and things like that take a while longer. But this was literally like an ultrasound, something that, <sighs> that's like me going in for my, to find out my gender of my baby. Yeah, and them seeing it and being like, okay, we'll call you in like two months with your results. It's like, you can see what it is right there. Like, ooh, it infuriates me. So next up, Justin still won't be aggressive like I want him to. So I'm going to go out there and be aggressive because 
This is so horrible and bad and it is just not right and I can't imagine Justin's the only one that they're doing this to so I know there's other people there that are probably sick and need help and they just keep pushing them off. So I'm going to do something. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, just a quick update on what's been going on medical wise. Um, so I went to my last doctor's appointment, it was a few days ago. It was supposed to tell me what happened from my last test where they stuck the camera down my throat. Um, turns out nothing happened. They found nothing. Took them a month to tell me that. They could have known the day of, but it took them an entire month to tell me what was happening, to tell me that they found nothing. It's horrible. I am so upset and angry about it. Um, I have talked to my CO personally and we are getting something worked out. Hopefully I can go out in town and go see a doctor out in town because this is ridiculous. I'm so sick of being tossed around, thrown around, taking a month to tell me that they found nothing. It's, it's ridiculous. They could have given me a phone call two days later to tell me that they found nothing. It's horrible and I, it's so frustrating. So, they found nothing. I don't know what else to say about that. I cleaned the crap out of the house. The house is so clean. All the dishes are done. So clean. I swept and mopped. And I put everything away except for that desk. Yeah, I cleaned the crap out of the house today. Um, we got a rocking chair. Sorry, there's a lot of spinning. There's a rocking chair over there in a box. And I gotta set that up in Lincoln's room. So, eventually whenever I set that up, I'll film it. I don't know why, but I will. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have. I'm supposed to have some friends come over today. I don't know if they're coming over today. It. What time is it? It is 4 o'clock, and I still haven't heard from them, so... I don't know. Might just do my own thing. Might go out in town. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Izzy. You having fun yet? She does this. She runs up. Ta-da! <gasps> Wanna go back in? Every morning I'm gonna be here Why crying? Why so many tears? I would go stand closer, 